Well, when something as stressful as the pandemic happens, it can create a trauma response for many. And Carol Jurgensen Sheets is a mental health therapist, also known as Carol the Coach. And she's back this week to talk about ways to try to stay calm during all this. Thanks again for being with us. Let's start with this. The brain's response in terms of fight, flight, or freeze. What's that mean? Well, when we go into a trauma response, which is that response that occurs when we're afraid of the unknown or maybe somebody's sick or we're not thinking we're gonna get our job back, it goes into the amygdala, the back of the brain. And when that occurs, you either go into fight, flight, or freeze. That means you're more irritable or you might just wanna huddle down and avoid everybody or you freeze. I mean, you want to leave or freeze. Do you think some people maybe didn't know how they would react in a stressful situation until this happened and are surprised at how they are? Yes, I absolutely do because nothing like this has ever happened. Although certainly we can experience traumas in our own life when we're in a car accident or we get a divorce or something happens to our child. But this is so globalized that people don't know how to handle it. And so the executive functioning of the brain gets activated and it goes offline. What I mean by that is we start fearing that we're not going to get through this and then our brain goes offline and we have trouble making decisions and thinking um, realistically. So is that part of how being afraid impacts how we function then? Absolutely. And so it's so important to find safety and stabilization in an unsafe situation. I mean, let's face it, this is fear of the unknown. And so what we have to do is practice activities that are gonna stabilize us. What is some of your advice on staying calm and overcoming our fears? Well, you know, one of the best things you can do is if you have a friend, a husband, a wife, if you can get good, solid hugs, where they actually hold you tight and then press the back of your spine. That's the vagal nerve that works with every organ in your body. And when that gets soothed, you feel better. That's something that's super simple. Now, if you don't have somebody, hug yourself. Believe it or not, trauma victims are taught to hug themselves and tap. Huh. Tap back and forth so that they actually self-soothe. That is so interesting. Thank you so much for being with us again this morning. You back next week? I'm back next Good. week. Good. Looking forward to it. Carol, the coach, thank you so much. We'll be sure and get this um, on fox59.com slash morning for you by the end of the show because it's really helpful, Scott.